Walkouts, tear-stained apologies, and epic tea spilling are all staples during these ratings grabbings get-togethers, which often turn into bona fide cringe fests. Fire up your MJ popcorn memes because these are the most memorable reality television reunion confessions we could find. The Bachelor season 13 reunion was a watershed moment for the franchise. At the After the Final Rose special, Bachelor Jason Mesnick told host Chris Harrison that he didn't feel right about proposing to Melissa Rycroft on the season finale, admitting he could not shake his feelings for season runner-up Molly Mullaney. Chris welcomed Melissa to the stage, and she and her soon-to-be ex-fiancé hashed things out. Before she gave back the engagement ring and walked off the set, Melissa had some harsh words for Jason. Then Molly joined Jason on the reunion couch and put a hand on his knee. He told her he could not stop thinking about her, and she told him that she'd dreamt of hearing that. What came next? A series of significant life changes. Jason and Molly have been together ever since, celebrating their 10-year wedding anniversary in February 2020, a milestone they both acknowledged on Instagram. Melissa also found love after she and Jason broke up and has enjoyed a healthy second career on Dancing with the Stars. Candy Burris found herself at the center of a damaging piece of gossip in season 9 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, and the source of that rumor was finally unveiled at the reunion. In the middle of the season, word got out that someone told castmate Portia Williams that Candy and her husband, Todd Tucker, allegedly plotted to drug and take advantage of her when they were all out one night. Portia confronted Candy about the allegations while the cast was in Hawaii, and Candy denied the claim and threatened to take legal action. As their colleague Cherie Whitfield said in a confessional segment, Yeah, that ain't no surface shade. That is some deep, deep libel. When the Atlanta Housewives got together for the reunion, it was time to get to the bottom of the allegations. Host Andy Cohen asked Portia to share what led her to believe Candy and Todd wanted to drug and take advantage of her, and she revealed that Phaedra Parks was the person who tipped her off. Phaedra admitted to repeating the rumor but would not share her source. Candy erupted at this revelation, and Portia said she felt like Phaedra used her as a pawn against Candy. Spreading this rumor put a nail in Phaedra's friendship with Candy and her role on the show. Following the reunion, TMZ reported that Bravo fired Phaedra from the reality series. The Challenge XXX Dirty 30 contestants Tori Deal and Derek Henry entered the season as a couple, but by the time the reunion rolled around, their courtship was a thing of the past. One of the reasons? Tori hit it off with another competitor. As Tori revealed in 2017 at the Dirty 30 reunion, she and Jordan Wisely developed a bond over the course of the season. It also became clear at the postseason sit-down that Tori and Derek's split was not amicable. Tori said that she believed Derek hacked her phone and took screen grabs of text message conversations with Jordan, an accusation Derek denied. Derek claimed Tori hooked up with Jordan before their split, and Tori told Derek the hookup happened after they were done filming the season. Tori and Jordan began dating after Dirty 30, and in 2018, Tori announced on her YouTube channel that they had moved in together. The following year, they got engaged while filming The Challenge War of the Worlds 2. During the reunion special for The Bachelorette season 15, Chris Harrison invited second runner-up Peter Weber to the stage so they could chat about the infamous fantasy suite date that took place in a windmill in Greece. Prior to the reunion, the world was under the impression that Hannah and Peter were intimate not once, but twice when they were in that windmill. This piece of information first came up when Hannah was discussing one of her heated conversations with soon-to-be eliminated contestant Luke Parker. In a confessional segment, she told the viewers that she and Peter hooked up two times during their overnight, and she refused to be shamed for it. Turns out, that was not the full truth. At the reunion, Hannah shared that she, quote, was a little dishonest when she spoke about their evening in the windmill. She continued, "...since it's out there, and I did say that there's something that Peter and I did twice, um, it was actually four times." The reunion crowd, which included Peter's thoroughly entertained parents, went wild. Hannah went on to win Dancing with the Stars, and Peter went on to be the star of the next season of The Bachelor, so it seemed like it all worked out for everyone. Monet X Change delivered dozens of iconic lip sync moments on RuPaul's Drag Race and RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. And one of the most memorable happened when she lip synced to Nicki Minaj's Pound the Alarm against Dusty Ray Bottoms on season 10. As the song's pre chorus pulsated, X Change crossed herself, signaling to the judges and audience that she was about to attempt a death defying stunt. However, when the chorus hit, she gave a little hop, landed on her feet, and waved her hand as if to say, Not yet. RuPaul and the rest of the judges doubled 
bubbled over in laughter. When she actually jumped into the splits later on in the song, it was all the more satisfying. Both Exchange and Bottoms left it all on the stage that week, making RuPaul's decision all the more difficult. Bottoms' lip sync was great, but it could not trounce Exchange's, a performance that included a costume change, gas mask comedy, and, of course, the split fakeout. At the season 10 reunion, Exchange revealed the Pound the Alarm stunt was not planned, rather that brilliant bait and switch was just a little something that popped in the future All-Stars champion's head as she was performing. Shut it down, indeed. After Kristen Doty and James Kennedy's relationship imploded on the third and fourth seasons of Vanderpump Rules, there were rumblings that the DJ only pursued Kristen because he wanted to be on the reality show. Kristen herself suspected this was the case, telling Bravo's The Daily Dish in 2015 that she believed he used her to get on the show. She said, "...he just did his homework and he knew exactly what he was doing." And he played me right until the point that he got through one whole season, became a primary, and then dropped me. A few days after that interview was released, Kennedy got a chance to respond on Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live. Honestly, I feel it very preposterous in the order for you to be able to say that. I mean, it's not like I was banging her for four months and became a primary. However, he sure seemed to change his tune when it was time to film the season 5 reunion in 2017, when castmate Jax Taylor remarked that Kennedy's relationship with Kristen is what got him on the series. Kennedy gave him a high five and said, quote, yeah, it did, mate." The rest of the cast laughed, Kristen included. Kennedy went on to say that he knew he would wind up on the show no matter what because he planned to, quote, "...move in with castmate Tom Sandoval or start banging his ex-girlfriend." Well, at least everyone can chuckle about this now. Vicki Gunvalson's daughter, Brianna Wolfsmith Culberson, dropped a chilling allegation at the Real Housewives of Orange County Season 8 reunion. Brianna claimed that her mother's on-again, off-again boyfriend, Brooke Ayers, advised Brianna's husband, Ryan Culberson, to, "...who told my husband, you need to start hitting Brianna to get her to fall in line." I, I heard did. that voice, and you just said you're not sorry I for it? I am sorry for that. The RHOC cast sat in stunned silence as Brooks attempted to deny Brianna's claims before eventually apologizing. When the cast asked Brooks if he really said that to Brianna, Brooks responded, "...I was drunk and angry, and yes, I'm sorry I said that." When the cast of Love is Blind got back together for the reunion, Amber Pike got candid about her relationship with Matt Barnett, admitting that they struggled with adjusting to married life after they tied the knot in November 2018. So much so that things almost ended. At one point, I actually had called about potentially like, getting the divorce lawyer. I was like, this isn't working. She ultimately did not file, and the two are still together as of this video. Amber said, "...seeing how we both are so stubborn and strong-minded, bullheaded, when we butt heads, it could be bad. It could be intense." so figuring out how to handle that, it made a huge difference for us." Barnett added, "...we stopped trying to force what we expected on each other. Once that happened, nothing but really good things since then." RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6 alum Adore Delano returned to the workroom for All Stars Season 2, but her homecoming did not last long. In the middle of the second episode, Adore bowed out of the competition right before the Snatch Game. It was a decision that caught RuPaul and fans off guard. At the reunion, Adore expressed embarrassment and regret. She said, "...nobody goes on All Stars 2 and like, is like piecing out. Like, it's like whack. It's not even my style." Adore added that her insecurities got the better of her, noting that she felt as though she was not on the same level as her competitors. "...I didn't prepare myself to bring myself back to the whole elimination process, the critiquing process, the runway." Delano also noted that she and Michelle Visage were on tour together just before the season, but Delano was not prepared to go back to the judge-contestant dynamic. It took some time and a lot of tears, but Shaws of Sunset couple Mercedes MJ Javid and Tommy Fate eventually won over their biggest critic. MJ's mom, Vita Javid, revealed at the season 6 reunion that she was finally starting to warm up to her daughter's then fiance, future husband. Andy Cohen could not contain his surprise, and MJ's co stars were in a state of disbelief. Tommy kept the twists coming when he added, I like Vita more than MJ. She's hilarious. There's no funnier person on the planet than Vita Javid. Going one step further, Vita said, "...I told Mercedes if you don't marry him, I'll marry him." 
Bachelor in Paradise Season 5 pair Annalise and Camille left Sayulita, Mexico as a couple, but the same could not be said after the reunion. As the After Paradise cameras rolled, Camille admitted to Annalise that he did not think he was the right person for her. Unsurprisingly, she was blindsided by their onstage breakup. After the episode aired, Camille admitted to Us Weekly that it, quote, wasn't the right place to have a breakup, but there's no right place to have a breakup. He went on to tell the outlet that they are still best friends and went hiking together the day after after viewers saw them split up on television. Annalise told Extra that it was hard to watch the scene, but she, quote, of course, wants the best for him. Annalise even went so far as to ask everyone to forgive Camille and be kind to him, because there was a lot more to the story that happened behind the scenes. When The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 9 reunion filmed in June 2019, host Andy Cohen took a moment during their lunch break to hop on Instagram Live to spill to friend Anderson Cooper that series stalwart Lisa Vanderpump was not in attendance. Cooper asked if Vanderpump had been there at all for the shoot, and Cohen only offered up a cryptic smile. This piping hot scoop arrived just days after Daily Mail TV released an interview in which Vanderpump said she most likely would not appear on the reunion or return to the series. Even so, it was tempting to hope that Vanderpump would make a surprise reunion cameo and resolve the Puppygate fiasco that ended her friendships with the rest of the cast. Alas, when the reunion episodes premiered the following month, the restaurateur really was nowhere to be found. So Cohen took to social media to confess that Vanderpump no call, no showed. Viewers heard the reunion confession happen while it was happening. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.